It's officially do or die for Frenchie. Hey everybody, Walty, welcome to the show. Buckle up, strap in, we got a hard hitting, pull no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. We're just gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. Welcome to the show, my fellow moto enthusiasts, fans, racers, everybody out there. Welcome, 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 welcome. Whew. Insane, right? <laughs> The industry is pretty insane at this point, right? There's a lot of noise out there in the industry. Well, today we're going to tackle a little bit of some content we can create around our good fuzzy friend, Frenchie. Hey, Walty, check me out. I'm rolling up to the track in a Tesla. Frenchie! Frenchie's back with Phoenix Honda. Phoenix Honda? I thought, I thought the Twisted deal was done. I know there's a lot of information in line. I don't know. We talked about this though prior. For me, I, I just saw where, if I'm Kenny. Yo, Walty, what's up? It's Kenny. Keep blowing the lid off it. Oh yeah, and by the way, in case you didn't hear, Frenchie didn't make it onto Twisted. Sorry. And, and th that's all they need is Kenny. They don't need Frenchie over there. I don't know why they would even want to bring Frenchie. You got Kenny. Why roll the dice and have some drama occur under your own tent when it's all... Rainbows and sunshine, except for that Kickstarter. It's all looking pretty good over there. So it makes no, it's, that's no surprise to me. And Phoenix kind of been swinging a little bit here lately, right? They're kind of coming out swinging. They're kind of stepping it up. Like their program's pretty massive. They're all over the place. So Frenchie recently rolled up and did a testing with the bike, or apparently might have already been hired in his Tesla, of course. Rolls up. Frenchie's got to roll up in his Tesla. Frenchie, we love you, bro. You're, you're our moto bro, right, right, right? You ride moto. We like you for that, bro. Save the Tesla for like farmer's market with like your chickens, not the truck. I know a lot of these dudes are all up the truck. They're just trying to flex, dude. They're just trying to flex. Roll it up in a truck. Even Danger Boy. I just don't see that guy posting pictures of the left. I don't think they got any electric anything over at the, maybe <laughs> at the Deegan's house. But I always see Danger flexing in some big old F550. Yo, what's up, Walty? Check me out. I'm rolling the F-350 with some big old oversized wheels so I can run over Frenchie in his electric car. Ha 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 ha. Whatever. Truck. Like, right on, bro. You're a boy. You're a boy. <laughs> I made it through your hazing. Brandis, your turn, though, dog. Got time to go under the microscope. Now, not many people, in fact, I can't even think of many offhand, except maybe another Phoenix Rider Haunter that's been able to step down to privateer equipment and make it back to factory level equipment, even Frenchie's compadre, David, v David Vilman. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is the Cobra. It's absolutely ridiculous, this industry. When I was riding, it was lame, too. Keep blowing the lid off it, Walty. Factory Yamaha star and eventually jumped on. I can't was like Buku or MDX, one of these. It was a Honda team, I believe. He never made it back. He never made it back. Film is pretty cool. The Cobra. We needed him out there. You always got to have that guy. But nobody loved the Cobra. Nobody really loves Dillon, in my opinion. He's just not. He's just. A, you know, I mean, it's not his fault. Over where he's from, I'm sure he's like super popular and. Everybody else wouldn't be. But over here, he's just Frenchy, right? So it's like, I don't know. And I don't know how his reputation is. He kind of comes across the type of guy. Might be hard to work with. But we might not be giving his Frenchy a, a fair shake. For Half of me likes the dude because he's not so social media butterfly. You know, on a YouTube channel. Like, you know, leave that for us, bro. Leave that for us. But all these guys now have to go into the machine, the marketing machine. If you have a social media marketing manager, we're going to be this and that. Now we're going to sell merchandise. Blah, blah, blah. And I get it. I was part of the industry for a lot of years, so I get it. But Frenchie doesn't have any of that big marketing machine or social media machine. He just shows up and he rides the bike in his Tesla. He shows up. So here's my challenge with our boy, Frenchie. Frenchie, welcome to the show, Frenchie really hard to do this dude you're a talented guy dude and i'd love to see your racing because if you're winning races and championships you don't have to have social media it doesn't matter you're getting paid that's for the rest of the riders that aren't you know winning championships like crazy and any marketing they have they're getting paid for it at that level they're not doing it trying to grow on me social media like the most riders so essentially frenchy you're going to go over to phoenix and like i was about to say dean wilson's over there he's the last guy i can even remember that was like factory Cowie and then KTM and then eventually showed up to the races on some 
bike he bought at the shop with his dad wrenching for him and then Husky put him on. But that's way different from like anything else that we've ever seen before. It's really rare that anybody can step down to satellite equipment and climb back to the factory ranks. It is tricky, my friend. So, prediction time. Let's make some predictions. You guys jump into the comments. Let us know. Frenchie, Phoenix Honda, does full Supercross, we'll assume. Hopefully outdoors, we don't know. At least not at the time of this video. How's Frenchie gonna do? Is he gonna be winning? Winning championships? Phoenix Honda's gonna be, oh my God, we just cashed in. Maybe. Or could Frenchie show up and not post good finishes and start complaining about the bike, at least behind closed doors, if not publicly, and rug pull the team? The truth is usually somewhere in the middle. So buckle up and strap in as Walty gets, to re gets ready to blow the lid off it every step of the way. Because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. Appreciate the content. I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video. If you'd like to follow or simply video. find us at Walty Wanders MX on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to love the next one. As always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars and I'll see you on the next video.